Hi, I'm Dr. Sridhar Kalyanasundaram. In this quick video, we'll be reviewing scoring of uh, respiratory distress severity in newborns. So we have two main scores that are frequently used. One is a down score and the other one is a Silverman score. The down score allows the clinicians to evaluate infant respiratory function and to check for impending respiratory failure. And it consists of the five uh, main parameters. Each of the five parameters is awarded points ranging from uh, 0 to 2 and uh, 0 means normal function and 2 would mean a severe impairment of function with 1 falling in between. So we have respiratory rate where a breathing rate of less than 60 would have a score of 0, a score of uh, 60 to 80 rate would mean give a score of 1 and more than 80 respiratory rate would give 2. Cyanosis absence would be zero, and if there is cyanosis in room air, there is one point. If you need more than 40% oxygen, you need get two points. Air entry, which is normal, get zero. Mild reduction in air entry, one point, and market reduction in two points. The presence of a grunt would make it a score of one if audible with stethoscope, or a <coughs> grunt audible without the stethoscope would be two points. The presence of uh, retractions would bring it to a score of uh, 1 if it's mild and 2 if it is moderate. If there are no retractions and no grunt, the score would be 0. So uh, a score of less than 4 would indicate no respiratory distress. A score of 4 to 6 would mean uh, moderate respiratory distress and a score of uh, more than or equal to 7 would mean impending respiratory failure and your team should be ready to intervene immediately in such cases. Silverman score is a little more complicated in that it looks at the different areas where the respiratory distress may manifest with a use of accessory muscles, uh, the use of uh, nasal retraction and so on. So we have the similar scoring system of 0 points, 1 point and 2 points. Um, for the upper chest retraction, it's usually in the upper part of the chest, uh, what we call as intercostal retractions. And if it is synchronized with no retractions, it's zero. If there is a lag on inspiration, it's one point and a seesaw respiration would make it two points. The lower chest in subcostal retractions becomes a zero if there is no retraction. And if it is mild, it's one. And if it is marked, it's two. The xiphoid retraction subs, uh, xiphoid retraction in the center would mean one if it is just visible and two if it's marked. The nasal flaring is one of the uh, functions where the accessory muscles of respiration are involved and it usually indicates a presence of respiratory distress if it's minimal with a score of 1 and if it is severe uh, nasal retractions you get a score of 2. And the expiratory grunt is scored here as well with a score of uh, 0 if there is no grunt. If it is audible with stethoscope it's 1 point and uh, if it is audible with naked ear it's 2 points. Because you have a few more uh, criteria compared to down score, uh, here it is more clear cut. You have the respiratory rate, which is quite objective, the presence or absence of uh, cyanosis and oxygen requirement, uh, air entry is almost always evaluated, and grunting and just retractions to score. Uh, there is less weight on different aspects of the retraction. So there are studies which have shown that the down score is a little bit easier to score for the team, easier to remember and so more units use a down score. Of course, with experience, the scoring becomes superfluous that your assessment of the respiratory distress is almost instinctive. Looking at the baby's overall patterns, it becomes a pattern recognition and the scoring is just an objective way to have it in the team. The interpretation of the Silverman score is similar as well. A score of zero to three is no or mild respiratory distress. Four to six is moderate respiratory distress and more than six would mean impending respiratory failure. So this is a simple uh, concept. I hope it's clear. Thank you.